What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix's new series, Teenage Bounty Hunters Season 1. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's wrap this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screener to the entire 10 episodes of this new show. Okay, the way I describe Teenage Bounty Hunters is it's kind of like the perfect cross between Saved and Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. But the whole bounty hunting also makes this show somewhat procedural. If you ask me, hey Rama, did you enjoy the show overall? My answer to you would be yes and no. It's a mixed bag. Parts about some episodes of Teenage Bounty Hunters could be more condensed. The twist and the conclusion at the end are a bit too convenient. But my god, the two lead stars, Maddie and Angelica, are absolutely fantastic together. I could watch them banter and gossip and bounce off of each other all day, every day. Created, written, and executive produced by Kathleen Jordan, Teenage Bounty Hunters is about 16-year-old fraternal twin sisters, the Wesleys, which consists of Sterling, played by Maddie Phillips, and Blair, played by Angelica Badfellini, who team up with a veteran bounty hunter named Bowser Jenkins, played by Kadeem Hardison, for an over-the-top adventure as they dive into the world of bail-skipping baddies and suburban secrets while trying to navigate high school drama, love, sex, and study hall. Executive produced by Genji Kohan. When I heard that one of this show's executive producers is Genji Kohan, I just had to check it out. Because Orange is the New Black? is one of Netflix's proudest achievements. And the other show that she also executive produces, Glow, well, let's just say that I am unhealthily obsessed with it. Even though Teenage Bounty Hunters turns out to be not on the same level of quality as those other shows, what Kathleen Jordan created here does have its charms. So let's go through some of the positives, shall we? As I implied earlier, the lead stars, Maddie and Angelica, are terrific, and you can throw in Kadeem, who plays Bowser, into that mix. The interactions between all three of them are the highlights of this show. Blair and Sterling would go into their ditzy mode, and Bowser starts face palming, and you'll find me rolling on the floor. Think of them as Bosley and the Charlie's Angels if the Charlie's Angels consistently annoy Bosley. Maddie and Angelica are the perfect casting for their respective roles. They may not actually be teenagers anymore in the real life, but they got this whole teen angst down pat. Their on-screen camaraderie is so addictive, they know how to switch the button immediately from clueless to devious to occasionally radiant. I also like this show sacrilegious jokes. But listen, Teenage Bounty Hunters is not aimed to belittle or trash or shit on religious people, but what it does point out are hypocrisies and gullibility. Because Blair and Sterling are still believers all the way through the end. But the show is basically saying, hey, there's gotta be a better way of going about God and Bible without being too hung up on the judgy parts. So the comedy in this particular aspect hits that sweet spot or strikes that delicate balance that doesn't dismiss or doesn't alienate certain young adult audiences who may take that stuff seriously. And the one thing that I wish the show would have more of are the procedural bounty hunting. Each episode, they are presented with a case of a skip, so watching the sisters take down the bad guys or the skips in their own witty, quirky ways that make Bowser facepalm again, it's just priceless. Too bad that oftentimes the other drama that's going on 
kind of overwhelms and pushes the bounty hunting to the back seat, which leads me to my few criticisms about the show. I think the writers could have better incorporated the bounty hunting to whatever it is that's going on in the life of Blair and Sterling. For example, the show Lucifer, where each murder case mirrors or says something about Lucifer's life problems, and oftentimes he would bring his personal baggage into solving those murder cases. Some of the episodes of Teenage Bounty Hunters try to do that, but the way they tie that in just isn't well written. Another thing that this show doesn't have its screws on tight. It's like it's like sitting on a wobbly chair are the sexual explorations and the relationship dramas. Oftentimes, they can go rudderless and long-winded. There are these one-trick pony supporting characters who keep showing up, but they offer nothing to the table other than the same thing over and over again. Such an absolute nuisance. I get it. I get the idea that goes to what I said earlier about religion and how liberating it feels to embrace your desires rather than be embarrassed by them. And teenagers, as we all know, are often confused. They don't know what they want or who they are. They're still figuring that out. I get all that. But the show often circles around and around, wasting time, instead of going straight to the point about it. But if you watch it just for the crime-fighting adventures of Blair, Sterling, and Bowser, you'll have a blast.